it's Joe Computer Guy. We're here in Bitwig Studio. We're going to talk about collections, creating collections in the browser. This is kind of an addendum to the last uh, uh, video I did. By uh, opening the browser, which we can also, we can use, you can do this with either browser. You can use this browser here. I'm just going to hit the plus and open up this browser. This particular browser, you can make it bigger. You can drag to the right or you can drag from the, uh, the top, the top and the right. The only way you can make this browser bigger. If you drag from the uh, <clears throat> the left or the bottom, it won't let you drag. So make the browser bigger, you're going to have to drag from the top or the right. Just a little side note there. So the collections uh, are, are pretty pretty powerful, especially when you learn to use them. I'm going to... Uh, we're going to be in the device now. The, the collections are tab-specific. In other words, if I created a collection here in samples, so there we go. Let's create a couple of collections. Okay, so I just quickly created uh, three three collections, you know, and you can you can create any collections you want, but you'll notice that this right here, the uh, there's a star here. There's an arrow with a star, and you click on these, and you're like, hmm, interesting. Now what this is doing, and this is targeting all the samples. So if you go to everything and then you start to click on the stars over here, this adds it to the collection. But it adds it to the collection. You'll see the numbers growing here. It adds it to the collection that is starred. Now if you right click on another collection, you got to set as target collection. Okay. And now if we go back to everything and start putting some more stars in, you know, or picking out some more samples, you'll see that they're going into the other folder. And so that's extremely powerful and, uh, and extremely handy. Another really powerful thing with this browser that I have found, because I'm just always having issues with, uh, with stuff, is if you got this browser and you're over here, you're over here, you're you got your your you're all screwed up if you always you right click and hit clear all filters it'll reset it right click clear all filters let's say devices tab you can create some new uh, create a new collection effects okay create new collection instruments there we go we got the two collections we're gonna target the effects set as target collection we're going to clear all filters we're going to go over to the effects what are the ones i use the most oh i use the reverb i use the delay two the delay one maybe maybe not the delay i'm just going to go these are and so what I'm, i've done is i've added a collection of the the devices i find my like i don't use the 8-bit but i do use the distortion uh dynamics i definitely use the compressor the transient control the uh the peak limiters handy and of course the dynamics uh, effects. Oh, chorus is great. I love the chorus. You can't go without the chorus. How about this comb filter? It's pretty tight. All right. The ring. Oh, the filter. The ring mod. Yeah. Let's throw some of that in there. Ooh, the EQ5. Yeah. And the 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 three band EQ is really handy. The resonant. The the ladder filter is nice. And the regular filter. Blah blah blah. So basically, now you've done all that. Now, if you right click, clear all filters. Now all that stuff is right there in your effects. So instead of going through and dicking around with all this stuff and finding it, it's right there. Same thing, if I right-click, I go set as target collection. I right-click, hit clear all filters. And now I go down to my synth. I put my, you know, I put my poly and my FM in there. I put my sampler in there. Uh, I don't really use, uh, I use the, for drums, I use the drum, uh, the, the drum thing there. And so again, I right-click, clear all filters. And now, instead of going through all that, I got all my effects I use there. I got all my instruments I use there. Very handy, very powerful. Like I say, these collections are tab specific because if I go back to my samples, for example, I don't have my instrument effects folders there. I have only the sample ones. And again, uh, if I go to uh, set as target collection, my kicks, maybe I go, I right click, clear all filters. You know, I go to my Nectar Acoustic Drums, I go to my Kicks, 
there we go I sample and again you can use the uh, this other browser as well to, uh, which I would actually recommend for picking out samples because you can audition each individual sample as you add it but again you know I'll put I'll put my favorite kicks in here I'll scroll down Ooh, that's a good one that's a good one you right click clear all filters and now all those are in your collection so you got your snares there your kicks there your favorite hats your favorite kicks your favorite and so everything is right there you don't have to you don't have to dick around uh, you don't have to go through this and be like oh where's that snare sound ah geez it was six folders deep and because a lot of this stuff you know it goes down I mean it's just it's just a mess you know I mean it goes goes down forever again you can also add collections for your multi sample this is another really powerful one is your presets okay you can create new collection base base there you go all your favorite base presets right there uh, all your favorite uh, pads all your favorite pads right there BAM uh, create new collection all your favorite uh, leads leads right there BAM and again you right click set as target location right click clear all filters and then go wild go down to your pads here uh, pad I would recommend putting some MIDI in the editor that way you can actually hear hear the pads there you know and then uh, throw throw some MIDI in here all you need with a pad is just one big long note really let's go ahead and do that and then uh Ooh, see that and so pads great now you put you put a star there you know you like the dark pad there's a crystal string there we go Ooh, that's pretty good that's beautiful all right and again you you go through you audition these you find your best pads you right click you clear all filters and now all those pads are BAM you click there there's all your stuff very powerful again you go to your base folder you gotta right click clear all filters you gotta go to base set as target folder now there we go so I'll have to go back and fix that and then pick out your bases pick out all your best baseline Ooh, baseline 2 is one of my favorites alright and then again right click clear all filters go to your base now you got your bases there so again this this column over here there's a lot of room there I recommend putting all your folders put all your favorite presets here your favorite devices the stuff you use the most right there once you get a bunch of VSTs in here this is gonna be really handy uh, your presets all your favorite presets there and again organize it all in this far left column I was uh, I had a few complaints about the organization of the browser on the last uh, video and and after actually going through this and figuring this out those issues were, were just solved by this basic thing again you know it's uh at first it's a little overwhelming this browser but once you really start digging into it um, especially once you start actually making collections for your favorite device presets multi sample samples music whatever you want to do once you start organizing and getting it all together you'll find that it's a very very powerful uh, uh, a browser and again one of the most powerful one of the most useful tools in this browser is just a simple right click clear all filters right click clear all filters because you'll find yourself you'll be buried in here and you'll be where's I can't find the thing I'm looking for you know especially in the samples library you know you'll be all buried in here and you'll be like where's my stuff you know just clear all filters and then everything's back um, and another thing I wanted to show real quick is uh, how to add multiple samples to a folder now if I take this and I highlight all these and try to drag them in to a folder you'll see it it only dragged the very first one there um, and so how to do that you right click create new smart collection you type it in you hit OK and it put all of them in there so now if you hit uh, clear all go right there there's all your nectar hi-hats and so that's how to add multiple samples you have to actually add it to the smart collection so that's a little bit more about the browser about how to add collections how to target those collections 
how to basically organize the browser in your own way with your own folders that way you have all your samples all your instruments and all your presets right at your fingertips the ones you use the most there's nothing worse than starting a project and getting lost inside of all the the preset samples and you know lost inside the browser looking for a certain sound it really kills your motivation quickly especially if you're working in a time limit type basis and again right click clear all filters very valuable I use that all the time right here I'm like where's my sense oh my god what's going on well the problem is it's on a note detector so if you right click clear all filters everything resets very valuable very handy again this is a chill computer guy we'll see you next week I'm gonna have some more Bitwig tutorials coming up keep an eye out subscribe like this video tell everybody you know about it alright see you next week